Today on Blue Color Performance, we're gonna sand and buff. So, like this OBS, you know, I just painted this the other day. Let's see if I can get that on camera. It's got a little dust right there, and you can see if you watch the side of that truck, the straight lines, as I move it up and down, you can see the orange peel in it. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is to get it like this side, because I've already buffed this side. And uh, you can see the straight line on the trailer. Move it up and down, she's nice and clean. No distortion, shows my ugly face in it. So anyway, let me uh, fire up here and I'll show you guys how I do this. This is kind of my secret weapon right here. I found this on uh, Amazon, and what this is, is that is 1500 grit sandpaper, film disc, it's, uh, and it fits real nice on my little Harbor Freight sander, and you can see right here, 1550 of them. Let me just show you how uh, serious I am about it. Kind of stocked up. You know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of that, and then I've got two boxes of 3000. But I'm gonna show you a trick that made the 3000 irrelevant. So let me set up here and we'll sand on this a little. Okay, so I got a fresh sheet of 1500 on here. My little orbital sander. I run on uh, number three. I don't know if you can see that there. Number three. So not super fast. You just kind of take it slow and easy. But I just have just a just barely, barely moist paper towel. And then we just start sanding on the brand new thing. You see, it seems totally insane. And if you look right, let me get this up here where you can see it. If you look right here, already, there's a piece of trash. So we're gonna sand that out, but all these little black spots in here are orange peel. So we're gonna sand the vast majority of that out. But you wanna keep it absolutely clean. It is imperative to keep it clean. At one speck of dust, you will absolutely ruin that. Keep on moving. 
see we've got a real nice even dull finish now i've got a little foam interface pad on this so this is not going to be perfectly flat and that's good because i don't want it perfectly flat but you can see you know where our little dust specks were i think there was one here let me look there you can kind of still see let's see if we can get right in on that you can still kind of see that little shiny spot around that that's where one was i got sanded out and uh there were a couple more but that's this is what you're after right here this is the look you're after you want dull and that's it quit right when you get there so anyway i'm gonna sand the rest of this fender because i don't feel like you guys want to watch me sand this whole dang fender and blab the entire time plus it's kind of getting dark you can hear the crickets and apparently one of my neighbors mowing <laughs> it is what it is so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and get this uh, fender sanded and i'll bring you guys back tomorrow after work when i go to buff this thing stayed out here for a while yesterday evening got it all sanded kind of quit down here trucks coming down another three inches not really going to show as you can see i didn't cut it like perfectly perfectly flat but this is going to look real good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set you guys up on time lapse for a minute and i'm going to get started buffing on this thing i guess i should tell you what i'm going to be buffing on it with to start with i'm going to be running a wool pad wool pad obviously on my rotary and for compound i am going to be using this stuff i saw an uncle tony's garage video where he was talking about this being really aggressive compound and that he had been recommended it to take oxidization off the paint and i thought aggressive compound well let's give that a go and uh, i'm pretty happy with the results so let me set you guys up on time lapse and i'll buff for a minute and i'll show you what i'm talking about So that first round with that wool pad and that compound, you can see this is all very clear. But if you go down here, see how that's hazy? That's those 1500 scratches. And I kind of did that on purpose. I didn't, you can still see just a little bit right up in here. But uh, that is a very aggressive compound and it will buff out those 1500 scratches. So what I'm gonna do is put you guys back on time lapse, hit the rest of this step and I'll show you step two. smudges all over it from lapping it down a little bit of a little bit of water and a clean paper towel we'll get it done all right so next step we're gonna go to wizard's mystic cut and a white compounding pad so put you guys on time lapse and bang that one out Get some really good definition now as you can see like if you look in the reflection as opposed to like what it was yesterday you can see it's way better so next step we're going to use a blue finishing pad with wizard's finish cut really put the double throw down spit shine on this thing so uh off time lapse and uh We'll go ahead and do that.
we go. Just like that. Matches the other side. I keep seeing this real ugly guy right there in my paint job, but I guess that can't be avoided. But uh, anyway, so there you go. That's how I cut and buff. Just show you this one fender, not the whole truck, because I don't want to waste all your time watching the same crap over and over. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll join me next time.